Welcome to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Today, we're talking about powered cars that are powered by wind. We will design and build a wind-powered car and use wind to transfer the car into motion, meaning that we will transfer it to kinetic energy. We're going to see how wind can power this car and make it travel. We have two different types of cars and we want to see which one travel the farthest. Your thought is, what will make a car travel farther with wind? Does it depend on the cell? Does it depend on the size of the wheel? Does it depend on the size of the car or the way we put the sails on? That is going to be your job to test out and figure out using the engineering design process. All right, friends, let's get ready to build a prototype. For the prototype, we're going to use some basic materials. We have cardboard where I've cut out into a rectangle. You will need some dowels. It depends on the size of your wheels for the thickness of the dowel. You'll need some scissors, straws, tape, and some regular paper. It can be colored paper or it could be um, cardstock, it could be construction paper, you decide. First, you're going to cut out your basic part of the car. After you cut out your car, you're going to take a top. It can be the size that you want your wheels and you're going to trace it on cardboard and cut out four wheels. Take straws and measure across to see the length that you will need for your uh, wheel and axle. And then you're going to cut out two straws, basically are close to the same length. Now that we have our straws ready, we're going to take our straws and tape them at the bottom of the base of the car. towards the end, not in the middle. You could in the middle, but I'm going to put mine towards the end. Try to make your straws even across where they have about the same distance on each side. Now that you have your straws in place, We're going to take our dowels or uh, skewer and we're going to put it inside the straw. Next, we're going to add our wheels. When you make your, um, your wheels and you just take a pen or pencil, punch the hole, but then take your skewer or a dowel and go through so that make sure that it will fit through there. Just punch it through there and slide it. So I'll put that one on, slide it in. And put this side on. I'm going to add another piece of tape to ensure that it stays secure. Now that it's lifted some on one side, I'm going to turn it over. All right, so notice it rolls because it's a wheel and axle. Now we don't want our wheels to slide off, so you could just add a small piece of tape at the end. It 
so that the wheels do not pop off. Or you could glue it on. I'm just going to add a little piece of tape. Now that we have the base of our car made, we're going to add the next part. Now, we have to decide where we want to put the sail. So I have on this one, I have the dial in the middle. And on this one, I put the dial in the middle because I wanted the sails to go around it. You could put a dial on each side going straight up. Or you could put the dial in the middle. Now, you have to decide how you want to put your sail. Since we have two on here, two dials holding compared to one, we can put our sail in a U shape this way instead of this way. Let's try that out. So we're just going to take a small piece of tape, bring this over, tape it on, bring this one over, and tape it on. Now we have our car ready. Now, we have three different types of cars with three different types of sails. We want to see which car will go the fastest. We can see which car will go the farthest based on the same amount of wind given to each car. So for this part of the exploration, you will need a small fan. Okay, friends, which car do you think is going to go the fathers? Car A, car B, car C. Or which car do you think is going to go the fastest? Car A, car B, car C. Does it matter how the sails are shaped and turned? Does it matter the size of the wheels? Will one go faster than the other. Let's test car A. I love testing these cars. Now that you tested your car, you can go back to the engineer design process and you can go back and make changes that are necessary to improve your design. You can look at your sail, the size of your wheels, you can look at the length of your car. These three cars are so different. Even the shape of the front of this car is different. Well, I hope you have fun and I hope you have an opportunity to race against someone else that has built a sail car, hopefully in your classroom or at home.